All right, today we're gonna to be going over a special setup that we had on Mercado, specifically on defense. And it was a more of a situational setup where we already got a first blood and fell into this setup if the team was going towards the A-bomb site. So what we would do is we would call this the Mercado trap. So we're trapping them inside the A site, making them plant, but also covering out all the exits so they had nowhere to go and they were forced to do something or make some sort of play. So let's get right into it. We'll go into a few examples of the gameplay of what we're doing. Uh, but first, I wanna start off with the comms of the first time that we actually did in the match. We fell to it kind of by accident and uh, figured out what we were trying to do. This was back in, I wanna say like February. Uh, so here we'll go with the comms. Yeah, yeah, I stun checked our closer. Are they on Looking top middle. I'm yeah, yeah, top. They, they definitely Dude, are. listen, if they're middle windows, they die. Hey, they're... listen, I can chow mid, bro. Dude, do you have like the top middle one? Yeah, yeah, yeah I have I'm the top middle. To I can, uh, what what top middle, top middle. I don't see anything there mid, Ant. I don't one see shit there middle. mid. One was top middle. I'm trying to picture spotter now. Yo, one look, guy's there top balcony. I'm ironing top middle window. I'm ironing the top middle. Watch out. I have your middle window. Middle window, watch out. They're not planning. They're not planning. Don't worry about bomb. I have bomb cross, okay? Wait, you have my mid, Ant, right? I have all bomb cross. I have middle window. I still have the upper middle window. Listen, they're trapped at air now. They're trapped at A. One guy's left side ACD right now. I'm literally just sure jiggling for bomb. Yo, you just dove across a bomb, but he's uh, going roof right now. Going roof right now. He's yeah, not that, a bomb that. yet. Not I a hear bomb that, yet. I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. Right, listen, watching. nothing top middle window, Brian. Top middle window. He's going to left window. They have to still plant. They're not doing well, shit. One guy's hedge. He dipped. He dipped. One guy chopped me mid. Now they can plant. Now they can plant. Yo, yo, let's just go. Heard you, heard you. I'm down to chop middle, middle, middle. middle. I'm down to score middle. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got top green to watch shot. Absolute top green. Let's go back our side. I got him top green. Nice. Good shit. All right, I'll get bomb track. No, you get it. He's hedge. Hedge. My bad. Don't shut hedge. I'll get bomb. Down you. Let's nice. go, baby. Come on, you. Get the chick, man. Get the kid. Yeah, I got you, bro. I got you. Good shit, guys. Good run. So as you guys saw in the comms, we're gonna play this round out here. We send Ant on a B hit uh, just to make sure that they weren't coming B. But what he's gonna do is full flank at the end. Everyone throws their tacks at the beginning of the round. Uh, we don't get anything, but we're just stunting their push. And now we're just gonna kind of play just full on retake. So we're gonna set Dan up back here at the back wall. He's gonna be watching over uh, into this top green building. And we're just playing all of these exits. So you're gonna see Ant make his way all around for a full flank in case they were wrapping back. Obviously we didn't see them already hit onto the site. And then we have uh, Kyler here at the mid alley. And he's just peeking for bomb checks just to make sure they're not getting on bomb. And if they are, he's coming to his teammates. So now, as you can see here, full setup where we have all the exits of the A bomb site covered. Uh, so we're completely trapping them at this point. And what they gonna, they have to do is they're either gonna make a play of themselves or plant the bomb and try and hope for a, a, a scenario where they can completely stunt our retakes. We actually don't get a pick here. They just drop the bomb inside green. It's still all four of them alive. And you see, and you know, he's just playing P4 here, just making sure that they're not rotating back out. And then he plays this actually uh, a really funny cheese spot onto the site. You can actually peek through, there's this little gate uh, at this area near the truck where you can just peek through and see the red dot of anyone that might be playing the bomb. So this is a little cheese spot. I'm surprised it really didn't get GA'd, but you know, if it was there, we were gonna use it. So we used it just to make sure that they weren't playing the bomb. And at this point, we know they're not on bomb, so they must just be chilling on the bomb site. Look at the time now, 30 seconds left. They just have to make a move and we have all the, the sites covered for this exit. They're gonna try and see if, if they can catch, catch Brandon off guard, yellow band, he sees them, but he's just gonna you know back off a little bit. Kyler sees them trying to get on bomb. He takes a few shots, just make them worry about anyone that might be mid trying to get shots off on the bomb. And then actually Ant gets a kill on the guy that was trying to plant the bomb eventually. So he get, he uses the cheese pot, gets a kill. 4v3, still no bomb down. They're gonna try and make a play. He gets teamworked and now it's a 3v2, still no bomb, 14 seconds left. Full on trap setup was a complete success. And now all we have to do is play trades. Maybe a little bit rogue there from Kyler. We still just gotta make them plant, uh, but we do end up finding the trades and getting the round win. So this was also good when you had like full mid control on defense. Uh, we would usually play this strat with a sniper. So Brandon would go banana with the sniper and he'd try and get that first pick so that we can work off and play that retake like we were trying to do in this setup. So he gets this pick on London. This is actually in the comeback uh, series that we had versus London at, at the major three to start our loser bracket run. So he gets the pick and now, you know, we just default into this setup. We know that they can't work bomb and they're, or they're going to be like super stunted with their push. 
and they're just going to try and, you know, sit back and, and wait because they know that there is some sort of risk inherently because they're three v four. So what we're trying to going to try and do is just completely take mid from them and just deny them bomb plans from this mid alley once again. And, you know, as you can see, number one is watching over number two and four in case they were wrapping back through p4 this way or wrapping back fully he's just trying to see any sort of cross here uh, to help these two sub players out so we have dan or brandon anchoring the bomb site making sure that no one is peeking out through the windows or trying to do anything else and, and maybe he can get another pick for us uh let's say asim peeked out right now uh but what we're trying to do here again just completely trying to he actually does get the pick i completely forgot uh, but we're just trying to deny the bomb plant, make sure we have the exits covered, all three or or four, you know, this one is basically being covered both by Brandon and we're covering all the exits here, making sure they stay on the bomb site and making them plant, making them have to do the hard work and making the onus on them to do something to try and win the round. So as you can see here, 4v2, this is easy, easy round win for us now. They have to make a play. It's 4v2, no bomb down. At this point, again, completely covering our bases. Every single lane is being watched and making sure that they have no escape for this round and we can completely suffocate them on the A side. And from this, we can just fast forward. It, 2v, 2v4, we get another pick, and then we end up winning the round. This is a, another one versus Atlanta. We actually get a, a nice early pick with some preset nades onto a BZ, trying to go bottom green. From that setup, we know what we want to do. We got the pick. We're still looking in case you know they could cross B side. We're still looking for any exits for a quick wrap out. And from this, we're just going to take that mid control. We're actually going to post Dan up on this uh, super nice spot back CT and he can do basically what uh, Dan or Brandon was doing in the previous round, just watching Banana, watching uh, the top green. He can see Cell in, with a sniper here, almost gets the kill, but now you have the two subs working around. As you can see, Ant plays the spot again, just to make sure they're not off bomb. And then we're just gonna collapse right into this setup, completely suffocate them from every single one of these exits. And uh, three v four, this is perfect situation for us. No bomb down. Once again, same thing. We just completely work off of it and uh, make them have to make a play. So it's really, really good if you have a good sniper to actually get a pick right off the bat or, or some good preset nades. And that's what we were able to do a lot of time on our defenses. We were always hitting our nades or we were always having a sniper pick. So that's how you can really set the tone for the round and make you know them have to make the hard play so they actually get the bomb down here but what we're able to do is just coordinate with each other for collapse on the site you see number one and number three going banana together trying to teamwork uh, and actually gets a really nice pick on number five here without even the, the teamwork of, of kyler yet and then we can all just completely collapse on the site and play trades and we win the round so i was actually looking for other teams trying to do the same type of setup and i did find vegas doing the same thing in the major four qualifiers uh, they didn't end up throwing their nades or doing anything a side like we usually would normally do but they actually just completely worked mids and one guy b and they're just completely playing for this retake right off the bat uh, as you can see they're going to go into the same type of setup number one clay is actually going to wrap back and hold banana here you see donnie actually playing the uh, ant cheese spot here uh you know you have tunnels open p4 is on lock and bananas on lock here too. These guys are all completely trapped within the green and they gotta make themselves plant. You know, again, really good job out of Vegas, just completely trapping them, putting the onus on them to make the play and make the bomb plant. So from here, they can just completely suffocate them out and waste all the time in the world. You know, they actually try and stretch plant here so that they can't see them from tunnels. They end up getting the bomb down and this is a, a somewhat decent situation for LAG. But, you know, there's so many angles that they can from, come from at this point where Vegas can just teamwork them if they coordinate with each other. And it's a really good coordination out of Vegas here where they just all hit out P4, three of them, while Clay maintains this, this backwards pressure just in case LAG was trying to activate this way and then deny any type of defuse coming out of the Vegas side. So as you can see, Vegas was trying to hit through P4, taking this side. So in reality, what LAG could do is push through and take the space that they're giving up, but good on Clay for, you know, holding this down, being that anchor so that they can't, 
you know, activate any further. And he's just there. He gets one kill, sees the other guy, and from there they just can play trades onto onto green. You know, they they end up getting the trade onto Clay here, but they have the information. Good play on Donnie for picking this guy up. And then it's uh, a three v zero. Obviously, the defuse comes in. So those are examples of the trap setup on Mercado defense. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys are are thinking of these videos so far, and I'll see you guys next time.